Welcome back gamers to another review. Today we step into the eerie, decaying world of Hollow Body, a game that wears its Silent Hill inspiration on its sleeve but manages to carve its own unsettling identity. Developed by Nathan Hamley under the Hardware Games banner, Hollow Body might just be one of the most fabled tributes to survival horror's past, all while offering something distinctively poignant and modern. But is it the next must-play horror classic, or is it a shadow of its predecessors? Well, let's dive in and find out. All About is a third-person survival horror game set in a dearly abandoned British town, shrouded in mystery and brimming in nightmarish creatures. The game's aesthetic immediately invokes memories of PS2 horror titles, Silent Hill 2 being the most obvious influence. But this game isn't just a carbon copy. While its inspirations are clear, All About it brings some fresh thematic elements and design choices to breathe life into the experience. At the heart of the game is Mika, a determined protagonist searching for her missing sister, Sasha, within a city long abandoned after a bioterror attack. This city once brimming with life has now become a graveyard of broken promises left to rot after failed economic revival efforts. This narrative hook ties into the real world concerns, touching on themes of gentrification and the devastation impact of corporate greed. And the town feels alive and is decaying, telling a story in every crumbling building and discard document. It's a place of sadness, despair, and above all, isolation, elements that all great horror games thrive on. And from the moment you step foot into the world, it's clear that this game excels in its atmosphere, as its sound design is truly something special. The low haunting hum that precedes the town creates an unnerving backdrop, and the moments of eerie silence amplify the dread when you least expect it. But what about the gameplay? Does this game hold up when compared to the classics it's drawn from? Well, yes and no. Combat in Hollow Body feels familiar to anyone who's played survival horror from the early 2000s. You often want to avoid combat altogether to preserve ammo, but when you engage and the game gives you options, guns are available, but melee weapons like a guitar are your best bet for conserving precious bullets. And while the combat system benefits from modern auto-aim mechanic, making it much easier to target enemies in tight spaces, the real tension comes from the sheer unpredictability of the monsters. Your enemies move quickly, closing the distance before you even have time to think. And the melee combat varies based on the weapon you wield, as each one has different reach and attack speed, which adds strategy to your encounters. But make no mistake, this game is not a power fantasy, and combat is meant to feel like your last resort, where tight spaces make it difficult to escape once you're locked in, and it's the fight or flight tension that makes these moments effective. Exploration and puzzle solving are also some core elements here. You'll spend a lot of time searching for items to unlock new areas, in true Silent Hill fashion, and thankfully the game does offer a more forgiving experience compared to the inspirations. While the puzzles can be tricky, they're never overly punishing, and the game provides a map that highlights important doors, and points you to towards your objectives. And this game's biggest strength is its atmosphere. The game's sense of place, combined with the minimalist soundtrack and the thoughtful pacing, create a deeply immersive experience. And the story too strikes a balance between horror and tragedy, exploring themes of abandonment, but not just by society, but by loved ones. And while the game impresses in many areas, it can also lean too heavily on Silent Hill inspirations, as some of the sections feel more like a direct recreation, which can make the game feel derivative at times. But despite a few missteps, the game ultimately stands out as a solid entry in the survival horror genre. It might borrow heavily from Silent Hill's playbook, but it brings enough new ideas, particularly in its story and themes, to justify its existence. For me, this game is a 7 out of 10. It's a game I can recommend to fans of the genre looking for something nostalgic and get refreshing, and it's a game I know many fans of horror will like. If you've played the game, did you like it? Would you recommend it? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.